one of my categories at the com is called real life manufacturing. And this is the stuff I use every day. So, of course, it's presented by me, Phil Kerner, the Tool and Die Guy. So, let's take a look at these Mighty Bite Talon Grip Vice Jaws. Pretty cool. Uh, now, you know, I know a lot of people are tempted to make stuff like this themselves. And uh, I get it. But, uh, you know, there's a, the right temper and hardness to this stuff that these people know what they're doing with. If you make stuff too soft, they wear out. Too hard, it becomes brittle and cracks. These are great. And uh, there's another view of the um, talon grip. And you can see you can move these around depending on the width of your work. And we'll get to, to, to see what that looks like in just a second. And uh, that's what they look like in your vice jaws. Now, these are pretty cool. This particular set, which I'll show you the serial number, model number, uh, they have this slotted deal here. So you can put them in a curt six, vice, six inch vise like mine, or a larger eight inch vise, and so uh, and they're counterboard open for the five eight screws. Uh, you can see I'm using the half uh, thirteen screws here, and I've adjusted these uh, grips to match the piece I'm going to work on, which is. Uh, well, before we get to that, they uh, you got about a hundred thousands to work at, work with. You can see that right there. So you you want your work to be about an. Um, if you're going to go all the way down to the bottom of your part, you want your work to be about an eighth inch thicker than you need, okay? So that's very important. You don't want to run into these things. I mean, they're probably, they're probably pretty hard. It'll probably ruin your cutter. So that's what I use them for. Now, this is the part. This is a 304 stainless. And I have a, uh, uh, have much better luck machining with the side of an end mill on stainless than I do the bottom of the end mill, or the end of the end mill, if you want to call it that. And uh, I, of course, have taken a pass over the top here and then I've walked all the way around this part all right and there's several operations of this but this saves me from squaring up all these edges in, independently I, the normal way we would do it right and I sometimes prefer some jobs that they give me an extra eighth inch of stock so I can do this just cut the whole uh, outside shape the periphery and then just flop it over and knock off that extra hundred thousandths off the bottom and I've got the a part done, right? So this is another part I use that uh, these talon grip vice jaws for. Uh, same thing. Now this is not stainless, so I can be a little more aggressive with it. But you can see, so that, that part's been uh, finished up, and all I have to do is take it out of the vise and put it in regular jaws, flop it over, and take off this extra eighth of an inch. So again, you just got to make sure you have a, a, about an eighth of an inch of stock. You can see I'm just missing hitting the top of these. All right, very important. So what are these things? These are Mighty Bite, the Mighty Bite Products Company. Uh, there's your part number. This is a Talon Grip 8 inch vise jaw set, 6 or 8 inch vise. And uh, let's see, what do they call That's a little drawing they give you to check them out. I just threw that in there. But it, these fit in my 6 inch Kurt. And uh, if you've watched any of my videos, we love the Kurt vices. And finally, uh, that's a set on eBay. And I believe that's a brand new set. It says condition new. And they are $226. And, that's kind of what you're going to pay in this particular set. You can see they've uh, done the two separate holes for the 6-inch Kurt and the 8-inch Kurt uh, vices, and, and they've got all the talon grips with them. So um, you know what? This is one of my weapons I use every day. So again, we get in and out here. That was kind of short. I know it, but uh, I love these things. I can tell you uh, I have never had a part pop out of these jaws. Uh, when I'm machining them. They're those those talon grips really do dig into the steel and they do a great job. So very uh, happy with that. That's again a very important part of my uh, arsenal at work. So uh, just to clear things up, I'm Phil Kerner, the Tool and Die Guy. And of course I'm really happy this year we're celebrating 100 years of the Kerner family and manufacture. And uh, let me tell you something quickly. I won't do this on every video. I did this on Ancestry the other night, and this is the 14th census of the United States, 1920. That's the Kerner family back then. My dad's not even listed. He wasn't born until 1922. But if you go across here, Edward Kerner, that was my grandfather, go all the way to the right. Occupation toolmaker. So we've been doing this for a while. We love the trade. And uh, if you enjoyed this particular video, uh, buy me a beer. And uh, we'll see you on the next quick lesson. Thank you.